In this video, we're going to talk about payment methods. So this is just going to be a brief overview of payment methods, and then we're going to go on to set up PayPal, which is really the easiest payment method. Now let's go to System, Configuration. So here, if we scroll down to Payment Methods, you can see what payment methods we have available. And you notice that some of them are expanded by default, so we're just going to collapse these. And you see there's PayPal, and there's several different types of PayPal, all of which we're going to go over in the next video. Now we also have Saved Credit Card, and we can uh, scroll down here, and let's get rid of this one. We can also have Check or Money Order. So Check or Money Order would basically allow your customers to purchase things on your website and then send in payment with Check or Money Order. So it sort of allows the transaction to go through, but of course you wouldn't mark it as being complete or shipped or anything until that check or money order arrived in the mail. Now we have zero subtotal checkout, and if this is enabled, no payment information is required. This is only going to be showing up if you have a zero subtotal. Let's say if you're selling something for free, maybe like a free download or something. Now we have bank transfer payment and this is disabled, but again, this is gonna work like cash or money order. You're gonna to wanna to set all this manually so that you can ship your order once and only once your payment's been received. Cash on delivery is really the same as check or money order, except for you get paid when you actually deliver the goods. Now, all of these don't have many options. You can see they're all pretty much the same. You can enable them for specific countries if you'd like. Let's say specific countries, and now, because we're only going to be doing deliveries in the United States, we'll just check United States. And of course, when they place a new order, it's going to go into pending, which is probably good for any of these payment types. Now, we also have authorized.net direct post and authorized.net. Now, these will take a bit more configuration, so we're not going to go over them in this video series. However, basically, you just need to enable them, sign into your account, and then set it up with your authorized.net provider. So these are our basic payment methods. If we scroll down here to payment services, you can see that there's 3D secure card validation. Now this is something you can use if your merchant has this feature. However, if your merchant doesn't, you can feel free to ask them if they offer it. In the next video, we're gonna show you how to set up PayPal Express.